So we're back at Red Lion, such repairs, Padstow, Davies Road, Australia, Sydney. And that damaged module unit from getting the boat out, slid into the fence, saw probably on a previous video. I'll put the link up if you haven't. So we'll leave the car here anyway. So here we go guys. Hopefully um Craig can do get the glue going properly and uh, special adhesive. And um, I'll give you an update tomorrow. See you later. Bye. Oh, roll the intro. No, I won't say bye. Anyway, roll the intro. Because we are one. See this mate, she's just flopping around like a dick in the dirt tin. Oh, a dick in the dirt tin. That's the problem. It's a good Aussie term, guys. Yeah. So, Craig's going to glue the, the, the module back on, uh, let it sit overnight. So I'm just going to leave the vehicle here. And, um, so yeah. Look at that, guys. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's where you scratched it with the yeah. paper. We're going to clean it with the solvent. Yeah, then so rough it up with the paper on both sides. Yeah, so and then we'll put the acetone. adhesion promoter on. So acetone sort of clean up the area. So put this on the line. Excellent. Bit of clean shit. I, I didn't know that sensor down there. I thought it was the same unit. No, no. it's a parking sensor. Yeah, because it parks itself. Yeah, that's that's right. It's a park sensor, the ones on the back are uh, reversing sensors. Okay. And this one here is our BCM. The BCM. Blind spot monitor. Blind spot monitor. We well, learn something every day, guys. Anyway, stay tuned for an update. Maybe tomorrow. Bye. So I'm back at Red Lion Smash Repairs on Davies Road Padstow, and Craig is doing a great favour. Um, I've got all the sensors and the BLM started playing up uh, with the lane change and everything else, all the alarms are coming up, just popped in here and we thought it might have been something major, hopefully it's um, just the control box, control module, and looks like it's popped off one side, so if we, they work on, um, it has to be located 45 degrees, I think like a compass, you sort of got to have, have its bearings I think, and just down here, look at all the dirt from the dust road guys, so Craig's just having a look at that now, maybe it's got some glue or something here we can just give it a patch job or something uh, I have to get it recalibrated so I still have to get it recalibrated Craig uh, I no. might come good uh, we can get it at 45 degrees yeah see that guys so make sure you come down here um, been established in 1946 and Craig's been here for a few, oh, quite a few years he's the owner and the boss so get yourself down here so this is part two of the video and one day we'll do an interview maybe with Craig. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video for Classic Cars Australia and On The Road Australia. Hooroo! So Craig's just putting a polyurethane on there. Same grade as like the marine grade actually. Use it on windscreens. Hopefully um, it might hold overnight. It might go off. Let's see, it should be alright. Doing a great job here. The red line. Yeah, they come right through the house, too. Yeah. I can see the expense in those units now. Anyway, guys, that's it till tomorrow. Bye.